What is happening? Welcome to another pitch video breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock, founder of a site called Pitchless.com, former pitch, pitch, pitching coach and college baseball pitcher and all of that stuff. And yeah, you should check out Pitchless.com. I, I review every single starting pitcher every single night. I rank the top 100 pitchers every day, and we have about 10 to 15 articles. Help your fantasy teams talk about baseball, everything. You should be there. Seriously, it is wonderful. We have the best player pages and stack as data on the internet. But we're going to talk about Shane Boz. Woo! Shane Boz! Man, I'm so excited to watch my Shane Boz. If you haven't seen my breakdown from last year of going over all of his debut, I was giddy. I was excited. The decisions he was making as a pitcher is just was wonderful. And Shane Boz now is getting a little bit more time in the rotation for, for the uh, the race after having that injury, of course, that stunted his season. But it could be a blessing in disguise as now he can pitch all the way through the rest of the year. You don't really need to worry about innings from him. And if you're wondering, hey, Nick, what does he do? Well, it's the typical. You got your fastballs and you got your sliders. And there's even some little bits of curveballs coming in, which is pretty nice, too. Uh, also, huge shout out to the Rays uh, for this camera angle. Look at this straight on just a little little bit of an angle not that ridiculousness that was Cincinnati I'm just super super happy to see this all right so we're gonna do this quickly this is the second inning uh against the Brewers and let's just watch Shane Boz a little bit right fastball right down the middle 94 wow okay first pitch of the inning Arias was like I don't want to swing I guess that that probably is the best pitch that Arias is gonna see this entire at bat he's gonna be really upset about it. now he throw like a breaking ball Oh, he goes upstairs at 96. He wants to swing at that one, but not the 94. Um, that's interesting. So you can you can take this two ways. When a guy swings or does not swing at 94 right down the middle, uh, you got to kind of guess how they're going to feel from that. Is it one like, oh, man, I'm so upset I didn't swing at that. I got to make sure I don't let another one go by. And you can mess with them with that, which is what Boz did by going upstairs on it. Now, if you throw a slider after, though, and they kind of see that, then they might not be as aggressive because now they're going for a fastball and they're like, I don't really know if I want to swing at the slider, right? So you might be able to get free real estate with that. Essentially, by taking that first pitch down here, you can really mess with Urias either way. And as he did upstairs, 96, you see him swing through that. I mean, you can do breaking ball away. You can do another one there. Uh, he, mm, I think that might have been the curve. Yeah, curve at 82. I think the, the slider is a little bit harder than that. I, I, I don't love that call. I don't think that Baza's curve is the best option in O2. I think that's more of the slider down here. Um, obviously, he's trying to get the curve down here, but and he totally misses it. But all right, um, one two. Do you go back to it? Or you go back to the fastball. He goes back to the fastball. Ninety-seven in the upper third. If this is higher, this is a strikeout. Here, it's a pop out, and down here, it's a hit. Right. So, good job. He got the out. Ninety-seven instead of ninety-four. So he messed up with timing a little bit. You have ninety-four early in the count. Then the timing is a little bit off, right? Changing speeds is important. Uh, 95 right down the middle. Once again, and man, I gotta, I gotta say, like, the confidence that Boz gets from throwing first pitch fastball essentially down the middle and getting away with it and getting a first strike. I mean, that's just you can do whatever you want, you know. Oh, do you throw a breaking ball now? Oh, he tries to throw a changeup. Oh, he's got the changeup working. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous, especially guy first pitch swinging at a fastball is really aggressive wants to go at it and good on Narvaez for taking this like this is a you know it's not the most aggressive one it's more like that you know it's not the big like Kevin Gaussman changeup that we've seen but this is a strike as a fastball for a while and then it dies away you know this is going like that but Narvaez is pretty much saying like I don't want to swing at that fastball which honestly I think that's a good decision all the way through uh, because if Narvaez swings at this pitch, let's say that was just a fastball instead of this changeup, right? That's probably the end of the bat. And I, you know, if as a hitter, as a hitter, if you essentially just say, look, I'm not going to swing at anything around here. I'm only swinging at stuff inside this little diamond, right? That's all I ever swing at. You would actually be pretty dang good as a hitter, right? And just, you can take strike three. It's okay. You know, maybe with two strikes, you change it. But in maybe before two strikes, you just do not elect to swing at anything along the edges. You know? So we saw that as a fastball down in a way. It's like, that's just not a place that I swing. And that's a that's another change up. This time, it does fall into the zone. Narvaez just didn't want it. Maybe he's thinking a breaking ball would come at 1-1. One, one. 
I think Baz got a little bit away with this one. If he's thinking fastball at this point, what happens is Narvaez would be out in front, but slow down enough and then probably pull it to right and probably get a hit over the shift, right, if there is a one. I Man, it's the raise. I'm assuming there is. All right, so now you can do two things. You can go down here with a breaking ball, which he hasn't seen, or you can elevate up here, right? I don't think you go a third time with a changeup because he's kind of seen the thing now. Um, I don't know. Yeah, you try and elevate with a 97. Okay. So you got you to at least tell him that's going to happen. Maybe the breaker now? Yes. Yes, he did. Yeah. Cool. You got it down there. You know, you're trying to get this here, right? And it does look like uh, you have more horizontal bend than you do depth. I mean, you got a decent amount of depth here. The rays aren't so good at giving you depth because it's a little high up. This is actually aiming for this. And then it goes down like that. Right? And that's really hard to say no. And Narvaez, yeah, you did. He went. It's fine. Sweet. So you got you executed at 2-2. Good stuff, boss. boss. And that's three different pitches that you showed in that one. A slider down and in. Change-ups down and away. Fastball up in there. That's pretty cool. And once again, it's just a fastball. Like, guys, like, beat me on the first pitch. You know, if I see this, I... It's kind of interesting. Like, you think by the third batter of the inning... Boz would note that the batter would think, oh, this is what he does. So you got to change it. But he doesn't care. It's the eight hitter. He's like, no, nah, man. Tyrone Taylor, you're not going to you're not gonna swing at this. <laughs> Again? Oh, that's a beauty curve. That, oh, man, is that nice. Oh, man. So Tyrone was thinking, all right, I just took that fastball, so he's going to throw another one at me. And this is just gorgeous. Like... You want your curveball at 01 to land here. You're not trying to do it down here yet. You're just trying to get another free real estate, essentially. You just at 01, you just want to get to 02. And if he swings at this, that's probably an out. You know? Like it's really hard to stay on this and then follow it to the right field and actually do something with it. Like once again. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And like what you can do now is you can throw a slider underneath it. That's harder. Because now he's thinking, okay, either it's going to be the curveball and I can kind of spit on that. But if it's harder, that means, oh, no, it's the fastball probably pairing up with it and the slider will fall underneath. And there it is. Oh, my Lord. That's so tight. Oh. And what I mean by tight is, like, it's within the window of, like, is this a fastball here or is it the slider here? You know? And it's impossible to tell the difference between that. It's just so, so hard. Like, out of the glove here, I mean, or out of the hand, rather. It looks like, yeah, it's coming here, and then it's going to go down there. Oh. Oh, man. That's so filthy. That's such filth. And, uh, like, this at bat. Wow. Like, let's just take a moment. I'm just going to do this. Let's just take a moment. Let's just appreciate this. Let's just sit back and just watch this at bat. This is Shane Boz taking down Tyrone Taylor yesterday. And it's glorious what he can do. You're going to see three different pitches. You're going to see his fastball. There it is, 96. You're going to see a perfect curveball. Oh, that 01. And then you're going to see a pristine 02 slider just off the edge of the plate. Oh, Shane Boz is just so, so good. Man. I'm excited to watch this kid for ages. I mean, that's it. That's all you need to know. That's Shane Boz. Get out of here. He's wonderful, but that's going to do it for today. Make sure you subscribe and like this video. Hit the bell, all that fun stuff. Support me if you can. Uh, also, check out the Nick and Alex Baseball Show. It is the best baseball podcast you will listen to. I'm serious. It is so much fun. You're not going to regret it. It's me and Alex Fast just having the best time ever uh, talking about baseball. Um, we have all these production values and stuff. Check that out on the channel as well. But that's going to do it. So my name is Nick Pollock. And may your bounce be low and your strikeout high.